Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoors. Guys, this is the Nymph by Work Tough Gear. It's designed by Jeremy Boulder Valentine. Absolutely adore it. We're going to deep dive it. I love pocket fix blades to begin with. Let me open this up with this. This is the Work Tough Gear Nymph N N Y M P H. Is three sixteenths inches thick. The overall length is six and three quarters. The blade length is three and three eighths. Now I measured down to the top of the choil. The cutting edge is three inches. The blade width is an inch and a quarter. Uh, the inner grip is three and a half. Now I know that's small, but this is a pocket fixed blade or a neck knife. Truth is. The way this is set up, you can carry this some bitch any way you want. I need to get you two things. I need to get you a weight, and I need to get you a handle width. Now, you can see right there, the handle's a little short, but that's what it's meant to be. I absolutely adore pocket fix blades. I talk about them all the time. I carry them all the time, and the truth is, my job necessitates that I do that and I'm glad I'm thankful because I'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you if I had to name like my favorite style of knife right now it'd be the pocket fix blades when I started the channel it would be big knives and I still love them but guys I am absolutely infatuated with this size knife now you can carry this some bitch any way you want you know, you're grown. You can put a tech lock on it, belt carry it. It's Molly compatible. You can hook it to a to a pack. You can put an ulti clip on it, tuck it inside your belt, or just do what I do, stick it in your pocket. There are people who enjoy neck knives. Now, I'm, I'm not one of those. I don't knock it. It's just not my preferred style of carry. What I want to look at in this video is, just like always, how much stuff we cut but how easy the knife is to use and manipulate. Now, you have to remember, I have incredibly beat up and banged up hands. The maul of my hand across the back is extra large. My fingers are medium to large. I've got the weirdest built hands in the world. I've broke both of them several times. So when I say I've got beat up broken hands, that's what I'm talking about. Now. This is like the second iteration of this knife. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Jeremy Boulder Valentine is a very, very deceptive designer. Not a deceptive person, but his designs are deceptive. The Kitsune, the Wilson, they're deceptive knives. And here's what I mean by that. You look at them and you go, wow, that's wild. Or, or like on the Kitsune, the handle. But the truth is, guys, he designs very, very, very functional blades. Now, I, I'm not here to convince you of anything. I'm not here to sell you anything. But I do want you to pay attention to how well this knife works. And, and I wish we lived in a day and age where there's, you know, knife stores everywhere where you could walk in and you could physically grab these. Now... The Nymph is dropping mid-March. And, and let me just say this too, guys. I know that, that people get very irritated about it being in stock, out of stock, etc. DLT Trading right now is carrying seven, seven different models of Work Tough Gear. Knife Center has a few. They've broadened their horizons. They're expanding. They're not just doing their website. So if you go to get a Work Tough Gear, don't get frustrated. Check out DLT Trading. Check out Knife Center. The Nymph is dropping mid-March. Now, here's the thing. The first iteration of this knife came out with just a skeletonized handle, and I liked it. It was all right. But, dude, this the G10 on this handle changed the entire game. I carry this knife everywhere. I was going to release this video Wednesday, but here's the deal. I carried this some bitch. I've carried it since I had it. Literally every day. It has a very flat, slim profile. My preferred method of carry for the nymph, like this past weekend and at work, 
is I'll stick it in my back left pocket. I know where it's at. It's very thin, it's very slim. I can put it in on the right side with my wallet and it would not bother me. That's how thin it is. But I like carrying it on my left side. And right here, we're just showing some of the, some of the toughness of the knife. That's the build of the knife. Jeremy, like I said, his knives, his designs work, and that's why I like using them. This video is a little bit longer than, than, than most, right? I didn't want to cut this down. I wanted you to see as much footage as I could squeeze in and still keep your attention span as possible. Some of these clips might run a little long, but I wanted you to see the amount of work that I'm able to accomplish with this. Now, this is not a survival knife. This is not a fall off the side of the mountain knife. This is a cutting tool that if you need it, it'll be there. It is an N690 Cryo. Personally, I do like that steel. The edge has held up very, very, very well. This is one of the rare knives that I've actually used a good bit before I do the review. That's why I can speak to you with some confidence on it. Very easy to use. It fits my hand really good. That's why I want to kind of give you a width across the back. I know that'll help some. The G10 handle length, the length of the G10 is two and three eighths, but that's not the handle length. The inner grip on this knife is three and a half, which is still pretty good for a neck knife, to be honest with you, or a pocket fixed blade. Here, we're, we're just making some shavings and things like that. I don't know why, man. I'll just be honest with you. This is, I love shaving wood. I just do. It's relaxing. It centers me. And it helps me get a feel for the knife. It's just like, I guess, like the old men whittling. You know, you, you, I used to watch my step-grandfather whittle for hours and hours and hours at the time. And he just enjoyed it. He enjoyed it, but the dude could do anything on this planet with a knife. So that's kind of my way of whittling. And if you don't watch Old Scabber, I'll leave in way too, too, too many minutes of it. But I do enjoy it, and I enjoy it with this knife. I carried it with me camping. Now, right behind the blade, kind of going into the handle, you see kind of that curve shape, and it has some jimping. Some very, very nice, well-rounded jimping, okay? Very comfortable in hand. You could do a push stab with it if you needed to. Uh, don't recommend it. You go to jail, but if you needed to, it's there. And as far as a knife to carry, this is another get-off-me knife. You, could, you can conceal this knife very easily. That's why I like it. Three things that I love about the knife, or four maybe. The handle. It fits my hand perfectly. It's easy to manipulate. If you see me kind of struggling with it from time to time, that's more uh, the shape and condition of my hands than it is the knife. But I love the handle. I love the thickness of the blade. I love the sharpness of the blade. And I love the balance of the blade. I also love how very utilitarian it is. I used it for food prep this weekend. I found myself several times using it to, to I would use the point to kind of untangle a knot. I used it a lot camping, made a few feather sticks, and it's sharp as shit. It's held its edge very, very, very well, especially for all the use that I put on it. Now, we're coming up here in a second, and I'm just gonna let you watch the knife work. We're gonna do some stab tests. Um, I wanted to bring this up too. I have started using gloves in some of the, the demonstrations. I do that for my own safety, but I also do that to get a feel for using a knife with a glove on. Some of your more technical knives are knives that are designed for gloves, and then some of the knives that aren't designed for gloves, I like to see how they feel in hand. For the most part, I use those gloves for safety, okay? I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't want to cut my damn self again. No matter how safe I think a knife is, there's slippage. But what I wanted to bring up, there's a good look at the edge there. What I wanted to bring up is in the first segment where we're stabbing the tire, there was never any slippage. My hand locked in, the ergos of this handle and the whole knife 
locked in very, very comfortably. And I was surprised. I thought I might have to readjust a time or two. I did not. And when we bring up, when we do some of the uh, tip test right here, I'm just going to be quiet while we do it. Let's check it out together. All right, guys, I wanted to kind of watch some of that with you. Here's what happens. I do all my little demonstrations and tests and things like that. And then when I go back to narrate and I'm watching, a lot of times, man, I'll do more talking than actual watching. And what I wanted to make sure of, and I, I wanted to double check, I didn't think I had to adjust my hand a lot. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm glad that I double checked it because I didn't have to move it a lot. Once I got the knife locked in, it held there. It stayed there. And here's the thing, guys. I did that segment, I, honestly, the entire segment, I think I did like a four or five minute tip test and just cut it way down to whatever I showed you. You can get lost in doing this stuff. You really, really can, especially when you're, when you're doing a demonstration and you're going to go back and narrate you can get lost in the repetitiveness of it, the relaxation of it, and then you go, oh shit, I got a ton, but that's good. That's good, it just shows the toughness of the knife, all of that. Well guys, listen, we're coming down to the end. Let me just say this, there was a time in this country where 22 bets a day took their own lives. Now, stats are everywhere, y'all know that. That's why here on this channel, we focus on the number zero. Anything over zero, is simply unacceptable bets. We love you. You have a place here. Guys, I back the blue. I know that's not popular with a lot of you, but it is a cause that is near and dear to my heart that I've explained a million times. Finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. Well, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I love this knife. I loved it so much. I've done the narration like three times. I hope I dialed it in for you. I'm scabbed. You're not. I'm gone, son.